Here we have the 2015 Clarion M505. This is the new replacement for Marine single DIN for Clarion. And this piece, unlike the M205, which I just reviewed, if you're interested in the M205 step down entry level piece, by all means, I'll put a link down below so you can check it out. But since I've launched that, I said I'd have a review on the M505 once it hit. It did come in yesterday, so here it is in live action for you. So I want to go over this one because this one, since we've actually put it live on the site since yesterday already, I think it was 13 or 14, some ungodly amount of these things are already sold. So it's obviously pretty popular. Now, unlike the preceding model, there's some very significant changes. That I'm going to touch on all that stuff. So if you just have a single DIN spot with not a lot of over overhanging area so that you don't want the CMD8 or CMD7 or CMV1 if you're lucky enough to have in your helm or your dashboard this is most likely the piece that most people are going to want to use the reason being is because this one with the omittance of a CD player by the way there is no CD player and also there's no detachable face so if you have or coming from an M475 or something like that understand that this piece here is it's a fixed face this is what it is it doesn't come off and it doesn't have a disc player what it does have is it has the Bluetooth it has the Pandora app, it has behind this little door, the USB and a 3.5 millimeter analog audio input so that way you can utilize all your external media sources because of course that is the way things are going, we all know that and Clarion said hey if everybody's going to go that way let's give them what they want and if they still want the CD player go with the CMD8 and that's what I, that's what I think of it, I mean I could be wrong but that's what my opinion of it is and of course they still have the M205 there, there is a new remote that comes with this piece the model on this one is new too. It's an RCX001. Very straightforward. You know, source, track, fast forward, play, up, down, mute. You know, the basic stuff. Nothing really that crazy. Now, this piece here, like the um, all the stuff they have for 2015, has the upgraded Bluetooth Aptex, which is their thing. It is supposed to get rid of that compressed, low quality distortion that you kind of that become used to you know with your Bluetooth devices this piece here is supposed to make the streaming and improve quality thanks to the Aptex codec support the technology improves audio quality when listening to compressed audio over Bluetooth in a way and that it doesn't degradate the audio quality or cause latency it reproduces the full bandwidth and quality sound of the waves so that's really what it's all about um, obviously this thing looks very attractive the Aptex is a new feature some of the layout buttons very similar in look and style. Um, the display is dimmable because I had to tune it down just for the um, atmosphere I'm in in this warehouse. It's very bright. It's very fluorescent-y. Um, but on the, on the water, you can turn this down, turn it up, make it more brighter. Do all that kind of stuff. Um, you don't have to take my word for it. I'll sh actually show you. See your clock. There's your dimmer right there. You can see you got so besides the LCD, you know, differences, which is good. I think it could be a little bit better myself. I would like to see a little bit more contrast myself, but that's just my eyesight. It could be my eyes. I don't know. Um, but aside of everything else, this is a different layout than the, than the older models, the M303s, the M475s, however old you want to go. Um, it's very cool. It's very simple. It's laid out very well. They have this big jog knob, which I think appeals to most people. These buttons here, I think, could be a little bit more bigger or rubbery. You know, it's they're a little hard to kind of access. However, these ones here are very good. I think they're great. However, it'd be nice if the whole button was pressable, not just on the extreme right side of it. So, for instance, if you wanted to adjust the sound and you hit the left side, you see it's nothing's happening. You have to be in the middle to the right. So, basically, this half of the button is where it, it's actually doing the clicking. So... Your, your presets here for your FM and AM, exactly the same. You have six presets for FM times three, so you have three bands. So 18 FM, 6 AM, which again, most people don't even bother using. Here's something that everybody uses, especially on a boat. Where did it go? There you go. WB, weather band. Full weather band, just like the M205 built into this unit, which I think is excellent. Good job on that. Guys, I think that's a wonderful, actual, useful feature for anybody who's out on the water. Source, self-explanatory. You get Sirius XM, which I want to show you in the back what plugs are there dedicated for expandability. Pandora, your aux in, Bluetooth audio, which is nothing's paired, your weather band, 
and back from where you started from. So that's pretty much what's going on there. This unit does have three sets of RCA preamp outputs, which are all four volt, which is an awesome feature for a marine audio system because myself, you got to have an amplifier if you're using a C-based CB system, wakeboard system, or if you have a, a, a setup you know, in your, in your, in your downstairs and your V berth, or you have something going on upstairs. This thing is very cool for that. And another really, really cool feature about this M505, which I think is probably one of the coolest features that you only find in the super high end radio, like the CMV one, which is a four or $500 radio is dual zone capability. This radio will actually allow you to have control over the upstairs. Say if you have like on, on my boat, I have a, um, up on my helm, I might have two speakers on the bow where we're all sitting, lounging, having, um, some drinks or whatever out on the back and then downstairs the kids might be downstairs watching TV Which you can feed augs in and have that run the sound to the downstairs by the galley or wherever They might be down in the, in the cabin down there, which is excellent So you could have one zone going on in one area and another entirely different thing going on in another zone So front and rear expand expansion ability without having a switcher or some complicated setup that no one un understands how to use anyway built into this unit whether you use it or not it's cool it's a great feature and i think it's a it's an awesome must-have thing for anybody who actually wants to use it and starts to using it you'll never go back to not using it put it to you that way now getting into the sound features i just want to show you what this unit can show you you have of course your preset eq pop rock jazz news urban movie you know the typical stuff then you got your loudness which you can turn on and off it does not have selectable for you know low mid mid-range and high range or anything like that just on and off so that's you know eh, it is what it is subwoofer turn it on and off of course I'm gonna leave it on this is subwoofer gain control max is out of 12 zero is off low pass filter you got 120 Hertz 80 is that as low as we're gonna go 80, 100. Hmm, that's it. That's it, folks. I was expecting something else, but there is nothing else. I would have liked to have seen, you know, 60, 45. That would be great. But it's not there. Your bass, your middle, and your treble, which is to be expected. Nothing parametric, nothing really crazy or intense on the audio controls. Clarion's never really been much on that, which is not good nor bad, just neutral for me. Your balance, C for center, and of course your fader. Aux in, which you can set for high, middle, low, which we like. And back to where you started from, from your EQ. So you got that. You have your menu uh, for your settings, your band, your source, your main jog knob. Um, very, very straightforward. Everything here is very simple. Nothing complicated whatsoever. Um, I think it's good that they have the expansion expandability for the USB and the aux input. So if you're using an Android or just an analog device, you got that there. Of course, Bluetooth, um, you can pair right onto it very easily. Works directly with Pandora through the app, which you get for free on Clarion site or your app store. Um, six channel, four volt preamp outputs, I, as I explained before. Um, I just want to show you on the back side of this unit, and then we're going to wrap this thing up. Also, I want to tell you that this unit does does still support all the prior year's expansibility. So if you're using the MF, MF1 or the MW1 LCD hardwired remote or the MW2, nothing has changed. You could plug those directly in just as you did last year. Nothing's different that, on that respect. Now let me show you the back and we'll wrap this review up. All right, so here we go. Back here, you got your front, rear, and subwoofer preamp outputs. These are all 4 volts. Your auxiliary input, your analog or terrestrial FM and AM antenna input, which also picks up on your weather band, so make sure you have a good antenna for this unit. Over here, you have your port for expansibility, so if you wanted to add on your hardwired remote controls, this is where you're going to go on right there. Over here, this is where you're going to plug in your Sirius XM tuner. And over here, if you are doing a steering wheel remote control, which I don't foresee anybody in the marine environment ever using this plug, but it's there anyway. Of course, that's included. The remote control, she's 22 by watts by four RMS, just like they've always been for God knows how many years on Clarion. Um, the sound is excellent. It does come with a sleeve. It does come with the trim ring. And like I said, the face is fixed. It's non-detachable. Um, the illumination is non-changeable. So the white is what you got with the little blue, which is good. It looks, you know, kind of like that aqua theme marine. It looks, it looks nice. Very pleasing on the eye. Lots of features. The price is fair. So 2015, this is what Clarion has for your single DIN. That's the M505 review.